MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Astros and the Chicago Cubs. These two should be exciting to watch go at each other and it's all coming up next. Yu Darvish, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. George Springer, the next to hit. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The center fielder, number four, George Springer. He's set and the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. First pitch, one o'clock. The 1 0. Can't complain a bit about the weather here. 75 degrees, our temperature at first pitch. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Up and out over the plate, but a cold strike, 2-1. and one. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. That accepted. The second baseman, Jose Altuve. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Pitch of the at bat on its way. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, Dero, he is a pitcher's best friend, Clyde Washington. Down in the strike zone, he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees. If he's consistent with it, Dan, which Clyde always is, I'm okay with it. Drilled on the ground is short. There's Baez, and there's out number two. That is third. The right fielder, Michael Grantley. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Michael Brantley. Here comes the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Two and no to Brantley. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. The 2 0 pitch. Call the strike there, two and one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Swing and a liner, but foul. Ah. 
the set and the 2 2 three balls two out nobody on. Line to the right side, but foul. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two out walk. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3 2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. As a look, now the pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Astros leave one, and now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. Justin Verlander is on the mound for Houston in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Yeah, Matt, since he's put on a Houston Astros uniform, Justin Verlander's kind of turned his career around. Went through a couple of seasons where his velocity was down, but he's always had that good curveball changeup combination. Velo back up to the mid to upper 90s to go along with that fastball and the curveball, and Justin Verlander is all the way back. Here's Chris Bryant now. It leaves things off here in the bottom half of the first. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. The wind up, and the 0 1. And he fouls this one off. Verlander has finished off more than 2,900 innings during his time in the major leagues. And with over 3,000 strikeouts, he's approaching the top 15 on the all time strikeouts leaderboard. Now, a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. The one two still a ball and two strikes and a change up swung on and missed for the first down that was aggressive pitching and that at bat and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Slider laid off for a ball. Pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. 2 0 count, the pitch. 2 and 1 now. One out, nobody on. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. The three one. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. 
Looked like he might have got squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. And that brings up Javi Baez. He's ready. Now the pitch. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Runners on first with one down. fouled off hey three foul balls in a row right here searching for that put away stuff not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two hey the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one The one two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track and the runner will have to retreat. Batting four. No left fielder. Kyle Schwarber. Now the Cubs four hole hitter Kyle Schwarber. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Verlander pauses. Here's the pitch. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Now the 0 and 2. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Cubs strand one. Still no score. Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. Off of the, after, the first baseman, number 10. Yuli Gurriel. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. And he can't pick it up. That ought to go down as an infield single. And mm, looked like he really left himself open after he released. And this ball came back and got him pretty good. And without speculating too much here, it's looking, at this point at least, like he will be able to continue out there. We should hope. Into the box, Jordan Alvarez. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1 and 0. Go ahead run at first, nobody out. And that one misses badly, it's ball two. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. Oh, this inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on 3 0, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. On, 
the 3 1. Swing and a line drive. But just fouls as he just misses extra bases. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. Into the bleachers and gone. So a two run shot to left center as it's now a two nothing ball game. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result. So the bases are clear now following the home run and stepping up is the shortstop Carlos Correa. Correa. set here it comes edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike Correa is sometimes called show Rea. he's a five year vet at the major league level here we go. the 0 1 pitch yeah. well, and he's got him in the palm Come of on. his hand now it's 0 and 2 have to find a way to take a deep breath right here and regroup. I know the umpire missed one but you can't allow the next couple of pitches to be dictated by one bad call. Find a way. Here's Darvish on 0 and 2 oh. and he looks at a ball 1 and 2. In today's game everybody's trying to work off the mound north south trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there but I can tell you as an offensive player I'd rather give you six inches off east west than to have you call that high fastball. The one two right here. is swung on and missed. He got him. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot. But that that, that was a good indication to me that he Martin. isn't letting it get to him. He went Holding right on. after him for the strikeout. At the plate now, Martin Maldonado, as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Still only one out in the inning. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Baez has it. Throw gets him two down. Batting up, the pitcher, number 35, Justin Verlander. Aledmus Diaz will get the call here he's as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 16, Aledmus Diaz. This is on the ground over to first. Rizzo is there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Astros plate two on the two-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Cubs. It's now 2-0 Houston. Brad Peacock enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Now pitching for the Astros, number 41, Brad Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Here it comes. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Contreras, a Venezuelan born ball player, he's in his fourth season as a major league player. Now a 
quick check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. Count is one and two now. Now here it comes. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. The pitch. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. Guriel has a play, and that's the second out of the inning. Batting set, the center fielder, Ian. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Here it comes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. This is a perfect time for him to break out that nasty changeup. Great arm action on it and bury something in the dirt. Try and get a swing and a miss. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. Boy, he sped him up in this head bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this head bat. Two out, nobody on. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. To Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Another full count pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. The 3 2 one more time. And a swing and a miss, and that's going to do it. This one's headed for the record books. A combined no hitter. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. A 2-0 finish today. The Houston Astros took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Justin Verlander pitches well enough to get the W. Hugh Darvish only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score this afternoon.
first for the victorious Astros. Two runs on just two hits, no errors, and they left one man on base. For the Cubs.